Cathedral Church of St. Peter and St. Paul in the city and diocese of Washington, commonly known as Washington National Cathedral, is an American cathedral of the Episcopal Church. The cathedral is located in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. The structure is of neo-Gothic design closely modeled on English Gothic style of the late 14th century. It is both the third largest church building in the United States, and the fourth tallest structure in Washington, D.C. The cathedral is the seat of both the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, Michael Bruce Curry, and the bishop of the Diocese of Washington, Marianne Edgar Buddha. Over 270,000 people visit the structure annually. The Protestant Episcopal Cathedral Foundation, under the first seven bishops of Washington, erected the cathedral under a charter passed by the United States Congress on January 6, 1893. Construction began on September 29, 1907, when the foundation stone was laid in the presence of President Theodore Roosevelt and a crowd of more than 20,000, and ended 83 years later when the final finial was placed in the presence of President George W. Bush in 1990. Decorative work, such as carvings and statuary, is ongoing as of 2011. The foundation is the legal entity of which all institutions on the cathedral close are a part, its corporate staff provides services for the institutions to help enable their missions, conducts work of the foundation itself that is not done by the other entities, and serves as staff for the board of trustees. The cathedral stands at Massachusetts and Wisconsin Avenues in the northwest quadrant of Washington. It is an associate member of the recently organized interdenominational Washington Theological Consortium. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 2007, it was ranked third on the list of America's favorite architecture by the American Institute of Architects. Construction. In 1792, Pierre Lenvant's plan of the federal city, specified a site for a great church for national purposes. However he defined it as non-sectarian and non-denominational. Hamilton modified that plan and eliminated the church, and several other proposed monuments and that plan was never reproduced. The working plan for the new city was subsequently produced by Andrew Ellicott and it varied in many respects from Lenvant's although the essence remained. National Portrait Gallery now occupies that site. In 1891, a meeting was held to begin plans for an Episcopal Cathedral in Washington. On January 6, 1893, the Protestant Episcopal Cathedral Foundation of the District of Columbia was granted a charter from Congress to establish the cathedral. The 52nd United States Congress declared in the act to incorporate the Protestant Episcopal Cathedral Foundation of the District of Columbia that the said corporation is hereby empowered to establish and maintain within the District of Columbia a cathedral and institutions of learning for the promotion of religion and education and charity. The commanding site on Mount St. Alban was chosen. Henry Yates Satley, first Episcopal Bishop of the Diocese of Washington, chose George Frederick Bodley, Britain's leading Anglican church architect, as the head architect. Henry Vaughan was selected supervising architect. Construction started on September 29, 1907, with a ceremonial address by President Theodore Roosevelt and the laying of the cornerstone. In 1912, Bethlehem Chapel opened for services in the unfinished cathedral, which have continued daily ever since. When construction of the cathedral resumed after a brief hiatus for World War I, both Bodley and Vaughan had died. General John J. Pershing led fundraising efforts for the church after World War I. American architect Philip Hubert Froman took over the design of the cathedral and was thenceforth designated the principal architect. Funding for Washington National Cathedral has come entirely from private sources. Maintenance and upkeep continue to rely entirely upon private support. National role. From its earliest days, the cathedral has been promoted as more than simply an Episcopal cathedral. Planners hoped it would play a role similar to Westminster Abbey. They wanted it to be a national shrine and a venue for great services. For much of the cathedral's history, this was captured in the phrase, a house of prayer for all people. In more recent times the phrases, national house of prayer, and, spiritual home for the nation, have been used. The cathedral has achieved this status simply by offering itself and being accepted by religious and political leaders as playing this role. Its initial charter was similar to those granted to American University, Catholic University of America, and other not-for-profit entities founded in the District of Columbia around 1900. Contrary to popular misconception, the government has not designated it as a national house of prayer. During World War II, monthly services were held there on behalf of a united people in a time of emergency. Before and since, the structure has hosted other major events, both religious and secular, that have drawn the attention of the American people, as well as tourists from around the world. 